Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Grand Cat, and today we are going to be looking at Vanguard Zero. This is the day after it was announced that the end of service was going to be happening. So we are going to be showing it off from the very beginning. We're going to be looking into all of the aspects of the game. I gave my own personal thoughts and comments on the previous video, so if you want to see that, I think a lot of us are disappointed and upset that the game is ending. But just for the sake of preserving it, I wanted to show everything that is in the game, and then I'm going to make another video after this. So there is your login bonuses, you can see that is what it used to look like. So I assume that this is going to be watched in the future, after this game is uh, all being finished. The loading does take quite a while, as you can see. A lot of connecting, and there's no problem with my connections. There we go, there's my little character. And uh, this is what it would do, there's the Climax campaign to take on Geese, the big final end boss. And it goes through the Divas Fest, you know, that's the latest set. And the Climax campaign, there's all the whole things that you can get from that. And there's the third anniversary, they were just celebrating the third anniversary when they announced the closure of the game. And here we go. So, this is us in the home screen of Shop 2. You can see there that says Shop 1 at the top. So. Uh, we're not going to go to that just yet, but I just want to show that off. And we're just going to show off and explain what all this is. So up here, that is my G grade. That is how far I managed to progress along. You can see there, we're going to take a look at this later, but that is the points needed to get onto it. Uh, up here, the, we have the stamina. So I had 180 stamina. That's that's what the maximum you can have. But I went a little bit above that through getting some of the stuff, like through getting some of the energy and things um, once once I reached the maximum, that's how I did that. Up here is my gems, I have 2450, of which I think 1050 of them are paid gems and the rest of them are free. You can see there's the ridiculous prices, you can see all the prices in the previous video. And there is the season VP. Uh, those are your vanguard points. You can see there, there is what you can get um, at the end of it. So 20,000 is the maximum that you start getting rewards for. That's that there. So, uh, let's look into the rest of this. So, customize allows you to change the character and the background for each of your parts. So in my fight screen I've got Tayo in that one. In the card one I've got Noah and in the shop I've got the other character. You can see here that you can change the character to whatever you want. You know, there's Chrono, there's Chrono from the Generation Next Era, there's Shion in his versions, and so on and so forth. Mamro. So a lot of these um, are the ones that you unlock. So there's regular Tayo and there's older Tayo. Um, so Gene N is basically not so much time skip, but a, a, like along that same idea. You know, that's, that's them in their older variations. As you can see here. You know what, let's actually go through all the characters because um, I wouldn't really be doing it justice if I didn't show off all of them. So these are all the ones that you can get. I'm just going to go through each of them very quickly. If there's anything you want to see, you can just pause the video on them. And they're not exactly animated, but they do have different artworks when you talk to them. Whereas in Shop 1, they were all 3D characters. And this one is all just 2D artwork. Ah. Right. I still haven't done that one yet. Okay. The thing is, I've already got the keys for these characters. I just never bothered. So I need to do that for those last five characters. 
Uh, there's the event ones from the various different special events, which I believe I got all the different special events one. Oh, the dealer one, that's what that was. And there we go. Uh, we also have the art. These ones were ones that you had to pay money for, and it removes the it removes the characters and it just replaces it with the art background. And for both of those, it says in brackets here, Chrono Shindo. It's Chrono Shindo's voice and his voice lines that are said on those ones. So now to go back to the backgrounds. There's Card Capital Two, and I'm just going to go through. Each of these, those first four are the ones that you start with, and then the rest of these have to be unlocked. And the way that you unlock them is from the story missions. The same way that Chapter 5 unlocks the character, um, one of the other chapters in each character's story will unlock each of these backgrounds as well. And you can see, I think all five of these will be, you have to do the characters ones there, which I have not yet done. But I'll probably do that in the next video, and this was the only event one that we had. So, I think we're going to stick with that one, and let's change the character to... Hmm. Let's go with Chaos Breaker. There we go. So there you've got the the, the good and the evil Noahs as well. There's Tayo and there's uh, my own character who has his cat. And there we go. Saved successfully. And so as you can see there, see how he's got the different animation there for seeing rock, paper, scissors? And if we click on him again, you can see that the artwork changes, but there's not an actual animation to it. It's just little things like that. However, yeah, he does have one artwork where he's got a cat <laughs> that's up on his shoulder, but that is a sort of rarer image. It does happen on occasion, though. So the next thing we've got to look at is menu. <clears throat> and in menu, we've got a lot to look at here. So you've got your training fight, which is basically just here's how to play the game and there's the advanced rules of how to play the game and clicking on each of them there's the cat there we go <laughs> we finally got him there is you know what i'm going to screenshot that because i think that is going to be the thumbnail um kazumi with his cat so let's go back into menu uh the challenge fights you can see there's a whole load of them that i have not done yet there's 90 in fact that I haven't even looked at and what these were where you could I think you could play against the new decks that came out and you can see that there's four pages and the last ones are there's Jewel Knights and there is Alfred Exeve and such uh, Link Joker ones so I think this was all before G format. So, if we were to click on one of these, what uh, does that actually say? Okay, so you've got a fixed deck that you play and then you use that to fight against uh, an opponent. So I think the idea is to let you test out a deck and there is the deck. You can see there's no strides in it whatsoever and you just have to use that fixed deck in order to play the match. Um, so that is what those are, the challenge fights. The story album is just your collection of everything from the various different stories. So there's all the ones from Third Anniversary, Dusk of Lantern. We're just going to go through these and just let people see them, see all the different events. As you can see there was quite a few of them.
and let's just click on one of these. So we're going to white day, you can see there's the bonus image that we got for completing it. And well, I didn't realize the episode zero was actually going to start the video, but um, well, let's just take a look at this. We're not going to go through every single one of these videos because that would be quite a lot. But this is this is back when the characters used to be animated back in the original series before, Dead. which I always I always thought that was much better to have the animated artworks. Hi. Uh, but we're not going to watch all of that. We're just going to skip through it because we would be here for literally hours showing off all of those videos. Well, that was just to show that you can go back and view those, but we'll compare, that was the original Vanguard Zero, compare that to Vanguard Zero G, so let's close this one, and well, we'll go into this one. So there is a bonus image for completing them, and if we go into, say, episode four, we'll see what the, the art style is like, what the differences are. So there you go, you see the characters, they are no longer 3D animated, it's all just 2D frames. And it is mildly voice acted, but it's not voice acted, you know, entirely. It's more just exclamations. And that is what it looks like when you complete the the events. And there's a little bit of talking after that as well. I'm just going to speed through that. If you want to see it, if you want to read any of it, you can just pause them, but also a lot of these have already been recorded and uploaded onto my channel when I did them the first time around. <laughs> then it comes up the the event name here. Just well, Lantern Light was this one. And then after that it loads and goes back to the main screen. <laughs> Once again, there is a lot of loading involved in this game, which I think could have been fixed if it had been maybe set up just a tiny bit better. Or if maybe they required faster servers or bigger servers or such. But we won't go into all of that. So if we go back into menu, so the story album, the next one we've got to look at is profile which uh, mine says plus 99 on it, which means there's been a lot that I've been missing here. So there's mine, I'm currently at Legend Rank 0 because I have not... I have unlocked the following emblems. Um, oh my god, look at how many there is that I just never cared. So what these emblems do, they can... you can swap them into your... your profile avatar. A lot of them you get for getting four copies of the card. Uh, there's other ones that you get for various other things, but you can see that there is a load there. Indeed. Um, so this is what your, your profile icon is. You can change it to any of these units and you can see that there is a lot of them. I think it's everything that's double rare or higher. If you get four of it, then you can swap that into your character. If we go into others, you can see there's a whole bunch that you either get from events or something similar. Um, like through some kind of special method. Uh, and if we go to all, you can actually see there's all the locked ones as well. Those are the ones that we don't have. So <clears throat> to get the four of this, <clears throat> my goodness, excuse me. Um, we need four of that card which we do not have. We've got zero of four of this white line. And yes, you can see all the, dif the various different characters that you can get all the way through the entire thing. There is a lot, indeed. 
I'm just going to go through all of this so that if anyone wants to, they can pause the video and see what these cards were at any point. You can see there's a whole bunch of Lyrical and then we're going into Aqua Force now. And then these are the ones that I do have at the bottom. So I continue scrolling through them just for the sake of preserving all of these images. And there we go. So if we go into other, no, it doesn't show you all for other, it's just those ones. Um, this here was my, this here was my name as a grand cat. There was my friend code that you could use to add as a friend or you could connect with and have friend fights with. And the metal board guy from Worlds, which is what I always kept my signature as, because that's what a lot of people in the Vanguard community knew me as, the guy that played metal Borg in the 2015 World Championship that ultimately ended up getting Commander Laurel taken off the ban list in Japan so that players in Japan could take could play Commander Laurel in the same way that I had through Metalborg. Um, so this one here, you can see just a store manager, which was, <laughs> well, I literally am a store manager. I literally own my own card game shop. So that seemed... You know, that seemed like the most, um, the one that made the most sense for me. There you can see that there is a whole bunch that you can choose from. These ones from Novice up to Legend were from the original games, the original versions. There's the whole ones that I did not unlock, including the Cyculia one, which in order to get, you have to get 15 wins in a row. I kept getting to 14 wins in a row and could not get that 15th one. I think it happened three or four times at least, and then I was at the point where I stopped caring. And there's the time limited ones, and um, you can see the top 3000s. I never really enjoyed playing ranked, so I never really went beyond any of that point. I never felt it necessary to go for it. There's all the happy birthday ones. There's ones from the events and everything as well, you can see. More of the happy birthday ones you can see there. Um, this one I quite liked, the Zero Ambassador. That was um, a favourite of mine, I used that for quite a while. Because you got it from running a, a, a tournament as such. Uh, of which I think it's still up on the YouTube channel. We, I never removed it. It's still available there somewhere, but it was near the beginning of Vanguard Zero that if you held an event, if you held a tournament, and you could give away prizes as well um, to the, the person that won. And you got this little Zero Ambassador for, um, for doing that. So I always thought that was quite a cool little special one to get. But... Um, I'm just going to keep it as the store manager one. Uh, so let's see here. Here's our total wins. Uh, Royal Paladin was 5,439 wins. Oracle Think Tank, 1,339. Um, the reason for that, well, I mean, since the game is finishing, uh, was because I would leave VP farms on, which a lot of people like the VP farms because it helps them level up their ranks and things. So whenever I was free, I would just set it up and just leave it and let it go. And if it came up against another opponent's VP farm, it had the chance of winning and getting some rewards. But largely, it didn't really do anything in the end. Like, there's no way to get any high ranks from, you know, like just farming the VP. And you didn't really... You didn't really care about the rewards either, if I'm honest. So it was just more... It was just more a thing that existed in the game. Uh, Shadow Pal and the Gold Pal and etc. Those are ones that I genuinely won. I got one win with Genesis. I must have played it once. Played it and then it was like, yep, done. <clears throat> Kigero I did play a lot more. Especially towards um, Vanguard G. And that's what I used a lot on Ranked. 
Nubatama, I've got a couple of there. That was what I played right at the very end. Um, some for Tachikaze. I did a whole bunch with Narakami as well, because Narakami had a few different decks. Like, in Legion format, it had a good deck with Brawler. Um, it also had Vanquisher. It had a whole bunch of things like that, so yeah, that was pretty good. Um, Nova Grappler, Dimension Place, Link Joker, and so on and so forth. And there you go. So the one that I played least, I even played like more Boomer Triangle, but the one that I played least was Angel Feather, uh, followed by <laughs> Genesis. And I think the deck that I probably used most, I actually did play a lot with Royal Palm. I did enjoy using the Alfreds and the Alt Miles and such. So, although like that number is kind of like, um, it's kind of like, you know, blurred, but um, I think a lot of it was me just actually like playing the game as well. Because Royal Paladin was one of my main decks. So, let's click on Achievement and see what this means and what it does. My throat is very, very dry from having done all this talking. Uh, we clicked on it and nothing happens. Is it still loading? There we go, okay. Oh, okay, so these are my various different achievements um, throughout history. So, there you see the ones that I was on Legend Rank 1, Legend Rank 15, Legend Rank 0, and so on and so forth. And the best rank that I got was Legend Rank 37. And my highest ranking was 1581. So there you go, there you can see all of the various things. As you can see, I was never really... I think there was a point, yeah, see these ones here where I was like Legend Rank 10? There was a point where I, I got to Legend Rank 10 on almost every event just to get the alternate art card and then I would stop playing. So you can see that that's what was happening there. You can see there's some of them that I put in extra effort because I wanted like additional ones, all of them for whatever reasons. There, are, there's the very first one. Um, I got to Legend Rank 25 for Blaster Blade, and I got to Legend Rank 35 for uh, Dragonic Overlord. And that was really when the game was in its like peak time, I think. You know, when it was right near the beginning of it, that's when everyone was playing it. And a lot of people just stopped um, for various different reasons after that. So, um, oh, okay, here we've got some new information. Okay, well, there is the birthdays. So this is your information. This is where they announced the termination of service and everything as well. But this is where you would get your updates for, here's the update for this version, here's revisions to card abilities, new play mats, etc., geese notice, and so on and so forth. And you can see that that... It doesn't go all the way down, it just goes down to, you know, a certain point, and then they, they cut off the rest of the messages. Uh, issue, there's no announcements to display, and messages, no announcements to display there. Uh, the gift box is where you would get your, your daily prizes, your daily gifts uh, sent to you. So there's from the little gift box uh, that we got this morning, the little three skip tokens. Or the one skip token even, sorry, not three. And next into Fighter's Quest. This is where our next main menu is. So you can see there that I've got a whole bunch of things we've got to do. So we can claim the free energy. There's the plus 35 stamina. That brings me up to 350 stamina. And we're going to use that right now. So we can replenish three quests. You can only have a maximum of nine. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to show you all of this right now. So the ones that have two stars are the ones we want to keep, and the ones that are one stars are the ones we want to swap out because they're not worth doing. I'm going to continue to do this into the end of the game as well. Okay, we got quite lucky there. So what we have to do is we have to take on 
Ryuzu, Kazuma, Valios, so on and so forth. So let's just go in and do that. So we're going to do this one, Kazuma and Valios, and then I'm going to go and get three new ones. So this is how you do it, you just go into quick play because I've already beaten all these characters on easy, hard and very hard. And just do three quick fights and you can see it takes quite a while. And that's, that also gives you VP which is your vanguard points. And it wasn't Kazuma, it was Kazuma wasn't it? Let me just remind myself, I'm pretty sure it was Kazma. Yeah, Kazma and Valios, okay. So we just do three, and we're doing them on easy because that takes the least stamina. It's 15 stamina for hard and very hard, but it's only 10 stamina for easy, so that's why we're just doing those. Just to preserve stamina. And now we're going to take on Valios. And don't worry, we'll go through the screen separately later on. This is me just showing off what the, the fighter screen was, or the fighter quests even. So because we've now completed three quests, for daily we get 30 free gems. So there we go, that gets added into our gem collection. And then we're going to get these, so there's Ryuzu. So that increases this part up here as well, and it also gives us a hundred of these red little icons down here, the fighter points. And you can only have a maximum of 25,000 of these, so let's go into the exchange and we'll see what we can exchange them for. So I've already bought the five packs of Divine Dragon, Apocala and uh, Apocala. Pocophoria? Oh my goodness, I don't know. And the five packs of Ultimate Stride, because those were the two that I really wanted, and we're now at the point where I don't really care about the rest of the packs. You can see the Fighter Collection packs are ridiculously expensive for no particular reason. We'll look into all of this a little bit later as well. But, um... For just now, let's Let's get five of the Diva packs. I don't really want them. I haven't opened anything of them yet, but let's get them anyway. So now that we have only six here, we can get ourselves another three. And then that brings us up to nine. And so play friend fight twice. I always reset those because trying to get someone else online to play friend life fights is such a pain. And we're going to swap out the one star. And there we go, we've got a request from the boy fighter, which if we give time, uh, 15 time loop pieces, then we can just get the two star immediately. Okay, so Kai is a three star one, and what you have to do is you have to fight him five times as opposed to the usual three times. So. Let's go ahead and do that. If we click on challenge, it just takes me immediately to Kai. And then we'll just do the five, and that is that one done. And that will give me 150 points as opposed to the regular 100 points. It gives you an extra star. And who were our other characters that we needed to do? I didn't even bother to look at those. So we have Henry, Kumi, Shoma and Verno. So Henry, Kumi and Shoma. So we've got Henry, Kumi and then Shoma. <laughs> I'm just saying it over to myself so that I remember. We're going to do Henry. Okay, 
and then Kumi. Then we just got the reward there for VP. And then the last one was Shuma. And there we go, those are the little rewards for completing those just doing the quick fights and what we now have here is I only need 330 points to finish this and once I complete that what it will do is when I go up the new grade is it will give me 180 stamina so I'm going to sit back and not accept all of these we're going to get to 30 left and Every five minutes I'll get another stamina up to 180. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to select this one until I've got the 180 and then that'll give me another 180 which will put me up to 360 stamina which is a lot better and you see how quickly you run through stamina in this game as well. So that is just going to sit there. The other things I've got to do is win a, a rank fight with United Sanctuary, play two games and win a rank fight with anything. So. Those are the last few things that I have left to do. So that is us done with these quests. So in daily, you get your energy between these times. So there's three times that you need to log in and then that will give you those energies. There's the achievements, there's a lot of achievements here. So reach legend rank 40 in rank fight would give me one of these ancient packs that I just don't need anymore. Um, win rank fight 8,000 times, I've got 7,697. Win 15 times in a row, I got 14 out of 15. That one has just always been a problem for me. And I'm not going to read out the rest of them, I'm just going to go through them all, just let you guys all see them. You can pause the video when you want to to see what these all were. This one here, the Champions Tournament, what that was, was a special event that when you won a certain amount of things, you got a championship token, then you could enter into that championship token, and if you won three games in a row, then you won the tournament, and initially there was one just for completing it once, and then they brought the thing for completing it three times, and then they stopped the championship tournament things once Vanguard Zero came around. In fact, I think it was before, well, before Vanguard Zero G came around. But um, I never really had any interest in going for that. I did it once and wasn't interested after that. Here you can see the various different characters that needed to be defeated multiple times. And how many times I defeated each one. This was probably the most important one to me, it was increasing the G grades. So I did manage to get all the way up to 270 and I don't think it's going to get much further beyond that if I'm honest. I don't think we're going to get to see what G grade 300 was going to look like, so that's a little bit disappointing. These are the ones for opening packs of these things. You can see how many that I've done for each one. What these things did was these were playmat medals that you could swap over for playmats um, of the corresponding tokens, but there wasn't really, it was just aesthetic, it didn't really give you anything, it was just here's a reward for having bought many many things. So you can see the demonic advent, I did buy quite a lot of it, um, up to 263, that's because I wanted to finish off uh, Nubatama and the Dominate deck.
these ones for collecting the various different number of cards. Ah, this is interesting. So log in for a total of 1200 days. So the game has been active for 1122 days. I have logged in every single day since the very very first day the game came out. I have never missed a single day. So that there is your actual number of days that the game has actually been online. 1122. And there we are, that is the end of it because the rest of them are ones that I did. So we're going to go through these as well. Uh, there's, there's a lot of them, so I'm just going to go through them a little bit faster. Yes, what these are is these are sleeves. Again, the purpose of this bit is just so that you guys can pause the video and see what the various different things were. Literally, this is just preserving the footage of the game because in two months' time you won't be able to look at any of this. So this is me recording the footage for myself, but for the sake of YouTube as well. Just basically so that there's documentation to say that yes, Vanguard Zero did exist and this was everything that was in it. And that the game isn't just forgotten to time. And those are the G grade sleeves. You can see that they've gone through various different colours and various different iterations throughout the time. I think the G grades is something that I was proud of because it was a reward for loyalty and dedication to the game and that was my reward for never giving up on it, for always playing it every single day and achieving all of the all the achievements that you just saw me do there in this very video and um, there's a little bit sad that that dedication, that hard work is kind of going to to nothing, you know, with the game ending. Because once the Entertainment Service comes, you won't even be able to log into the game, so you won't even be able to look at your records that you had. It will just uh, be offline. So, there, there's the rewards for the number of days having logged in. And that's it. So this one here is the time limited ones. These are the events that you have a limit to finish these. So this one is just to complete G chapter 39, chapter 41, 43 and 46, which I think finishes off the story. There's complete the boss fights and 
If you do it with Chron um, Gear Chronicle, Royal Pal, and Neo Nectar, you get those special ones. When one time against Geese gives you these, when three times against Geese gives you these. So uh, we will be doing all of that as well, just not in this video. That will be a separate video where we'll be going through the story of Vanguard G and finishing that off as well. So that is us done with that part. And I think we might be going immediately right back into there. So that was a bit of a mistake to come out of that. Once it loads. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> there's the cat again. So we've been through these parts here. We've been through the fighter's quest. And we're now going to go into the character fight. And we're going to show what that is as well. This is us still on the home screen. But once we go into the other screens, they will be significantly faster to get through. So here are the characters that you've got. We'll just go through them all one at a time so that you can see everyone who is available there. And there we go. Um, and on each one you can do, you can play normal, hard or very hard, there's nothing in between, there's only those three options, then you can quick fight each of them and hard and very hard you can only fight five times a day, although you can use gems to allow you to play additional ones, but um, that is largely it for this part. So. Let's look at this little screen down here at the bottom that you see me skipping the screen. These are your active events. So this is the third anniversary event. So as you can see, we've obtained 30,000 VP and we've won three times against character fights. So we're just going to claim those. And that gives us these anniversary medals, which we will see what those are used for later on. And there you can see all the achievements have all been done. Largely with all of the events, I did all the achievements on all of them because, well, it was the dedication to the game, I guess. And this is the current Vanguard Zero, um, Vanguard GZ quest, which is where you can take on Giz. Which again, we're not going to do here, but that's what it looks like, and then, you know, we can fight him, and there's the, the first reward. We're going to do that with the three main characters. Well, the three main character decks of Vanguard G. I don't have these skins for Toa. But we will do that as well. And this here is just your information. Clicking on these will just take you to links to all the different various parts. So we're going to go into story, which is the last thing to look at. On the home screen. So here we are, we're on chapter 39, this new, new story has been unlocked because it's the first time that I went into here. And if we go back we can go through all of the different chapters, you can see that the ones that say fight on them are ones where you actually play matches. So we're just going to go all the way back to chapter 1 and then we're going to look at them all from there. We're not going to click on every single one of them because Again, it would take literally hours to watch through all of these scenes. But this did go through everything from the, the, the series. And you can see there that you do get a lot of rewards at the end there. And actually you can just click on change chapter and go through it that way, which would probably be easier. And also, you can see it's got the little animated thing up the top here. That's very nice to see, very cool. And the turns, you know, turn 6, turn 7, turn 8, you know, those are your basically your little individual chapter parts. They weren't necessarily episodes, but you can see that, you know, this is us going through the part where, like, it's the start of the anime before things start becoming you know, like, the end of the world threatening sort of thing.
And we are going to finish this story, don't worry. Now, that was interesting because in chapter 12 it goes up to turn 48, and that is the big final battle against Ubuki, and then chapter 13 starts on turn 1 again. This is the second season where you can see the characters have their new outfits and everything as well. So, that is what these turns refer to. Naked fight? Oh my goodness. Certainly has a lot of memories with um, having went down this. Not even just with the game, but from the card game as well. Having watched through the anime and played through the games at these points, and then of course the reboot happened, which uh, disappointed quite a lot of people. And there's the final boss fight against Ryuzu for that series. And then this goes into season 3, which this happened right after the 2015 Worlds, because remember this, because this character here was announced and he, he very much looked like me, just uh, at the 2015 Worlds I wore this suit, I had a white turtleneck and I had long red hair, this character has long white hair and red turtleneck, so all they did was literally swap the colours around. And a lot of people did compare the character um, with the way that I looked as well, so. I thought that was um, very nice. And there's the big final boss fight of that series, which was against uh, Kazumi. And then this is the final season. You can see here it's chapter 39, we're on turn 1. And that takes us up to the big end boss, Gee's fight. So that's what uh, the story mode is. We'll be going through all of that in a separate video. So we've now done everything in the home screen, so we're now going to go and click on the fight screen and see what everything is here. So you can see that the quests and the gift box are still here. This little part here is the part that used to be here. Uh, if we click on ranking, we can see that I am currently at Legend Rank 0. And I've not played yet, 0 points, 100. You can see there that the season ends in 9 days, and you can see the top players well, that's the top players of the... Ah, right, okay. So this was the previous ranking. And those are the different rewards you can get. You can get these for the My Room. Little things, little trophies. You get a little banner and... You get the playmat as well. And... Currently I'm outside of uh, top 5,000th position, um, so there we are. Uh, we can look at the season rewards as well. There you can see the different rewards for, so if we get to Legend Rank 3, we get this sleeve, if we get to Legend Rank 5, we get this sleeve, and if we get to Legend Rank 10, then we get one of these all art Luards, and there you can see its skill and everything as well. So training groups is where you can play against the computer. 
Well, you can choose the, the pairing method. You can be against computer only, you can prioritize players, or you can play against players only. But this is practice, this isn't ranked. So it means that your wins and losses won't affect your rank fight either. Uh, you've got friend fight, which if you click on, you can play against an actual person, so long as they agree. Um, so you can create the room, you can search for a room, or you can view your invitations if someone has invited you to play the game. I guess, okay. Let's, let's just try clicking on those. I was going to ignore it, but uh, to create a room, well, let's see what happens. Time limit on, speculation on, turn mode off. And then if we go to click and create, this does take a little while. And then from there, it automatically um, selects my deck that I was last using. So the last one that I was playing was Narakami. And I can invite a teammate or I can invite a friend. So let's just show that. Click on invite friends. Those are the people that are ranked as my friends. And you can actually see how long ago they logged in. So you can see that a lot of them have actually been active recently. But it goes downwards from there. 26 days was the last time they were active. 100 days was the last time they were active. Oh my goodness. Um, and then... <laughs> this one here, Robert Cop, uh, that is uh, the Baron. He was last logged in 1,083 days ago. And the game has been up for 1,122 games, 1,122 days. So he only played for the first like 40 days, for like the first month, <laughs> and then just never came back on. Uh, there's Brocky Sama, um, who logged in last 575 days ago. And you can see there. Uh, so Pugly, I believe, is Edge Marquee. His last one was 106 days ago. There's quite a few of these people who I do not know who they are. Um, this one here is Scutex, Liam D92. Uh, Red Dragon Emperor is the big boss man. Uh, he last logged in 22 hours ago. And I think I know who Kurf is as well, but I can't remember. But Yep, you can do those and then you can click invite and then, you know, send them the invite. So, let's just show you what happens with a click invite. It says there, like, you know, do you want to send an invite to this user? Click OK. Then it says connecting. And the invitation has been sent. And then that person should get an invite. And I can also do the exact same thing with Invite Team. And when someone selects it, then they would appear up there as well. So there is the various different players that are in my team. Knight is of course Knight. Um, he last logged in six hours ago. Uh, Joker is someone that I know um, as well. Uh, Shira was Psychic Shiba. We've got, we've got players on the team that haven't been active in the past 400 odd days. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, again, clicking invite on them, it would just be exactly the same. Click it like so. And there. And of course, you can change your deck to any of your various different decks. We'll be looking at this a little bit later on as well. And then you can confirm deck, which is basically let's, let's you look at your deck, make sure that you've got everything in there that you want to use. And then preparation is complete, you click that, then you're ready, if the opponent shows up, then they would show up, and then once they click ready, then it starts the game. So yes, we're going to leave that, but that is what the pairing system looked like. And then the last one on the screen is the rank fight itself. So if you click on that, you then select the deck that you want to use. I'll play Nibitama. 
and from here you can well we'll will, we will look at all of this later as well but then you can just click fight and then it takes you into an actual match against someone and no I'm not going to do that just now we'll show off the fights and things later in a different video so that is everything for the fight section the next one is card which we've got Noah set up here So on forum over here, this allows you to check out other people's decks. So what it does is it lists them um, from the most recent one. So the, the latest deck uploaded was the Stark Regular deck. It tells you which ones you have. So the ones that are darkened out are ones I don't have. So I've only got one of this card, Edge of Darkness and I'm missing two more. So if I wanted to build this deck, these are the things that I would need to get to finish off the deck. And it also gives you the percentage of how much you've already completed. So this one I've got 92% of it. It's largely a few of the strides I'm missing. And you can also see that this person has all of this in SP as well, so they must have spent a tremendous amount of money um, getting this all up to highest rarity. Oh, well, actually, he had a message there. Um, it said, buy zero hard work. So, there we are. Um, he certainly did put in a lot of hard work because his entire deck was all SP'd out, which is very impressive, to say the least. Wow. Um, you can see there, the like, comment section says, the little comment they, they put is, thank zero, and such there is one that's just a beginner's deck that was just someone just uploading um probably for the first time which is unfortunate because uh well they probably didn't get a chance to bye bye zero you ignore my boy gaia <laughs> oh my goodness um that is a lot of people annoyed that tachikaze never got his final support uh chaos breaker chaos goodbye you can see there are some messages here from the various different people and then well this, these ones probably the probably before the announcement was made and you can go up here you can search by Royal Paladin or by any of these other ones and then it will give you those decks so say for example I wanted to take a look at Nubatama decks to see other people's variations of Chernoui. I can do that and then click through there. And I can see what it is they're doing. So this person has, of course, Drachma, who is one of the Zeroth Dragons. And you can see there I have everything this person has. And you can see by the number of thumbs up of what other people think of it as well. And you can sort by new, you can sort by own rate, or you can sort by links. By likes, sorry. And you can also filter, you can see when you want to search from and until, and so on and so forth. So, you can also upload your own deck list as well. No, in fact, actually, let's go in and let's upload a deck list. And we'll show you what that looks like as well. Just for the sake of preservation, just to show everything. So, this is the post history. Ah, so these are the ones that I uploaded in the past. So I can see these are the various different ones that I was showing off on what I thought was the correct methods to build some of these decks. This one was pure Vanquisher. There's a lot of people that fuse Vanquisher with another deck. There's my Bluish Flames, which was meta for a decent little while. You can see that this one here was SP. This one was all art, and 
you can see the different variations as well. You can see the difference in the SP ones and the old arts as well. But um, now we're going to submit a deck. I'm going to upload my Nubatama deck. And I'm going to click post. And comment. I will say. I will say goodbye. Vanguard. Zero. And can I add anything? Well, I can do that at least. And then confirm. And you can only submit three times a day, which is completely fine. And my deck has been registered. I have two of three submissions left. And there you can see that is my history. So if I click on close, then the latest deck uploaded by me was this one. It says submitted by the Grand Cat, goodbye Vanguard Zero. And that is the deck there as well. And you can see the Destiny has also added a new one here, um, which was the, of course, Gero, it was uh, Dragonic Overlord, the Destiny. So there, that is, that's how that can be done. That is basically everything that the form was. Just a little comment. Yes, it's mainly sad. So the card overview crafting, this is where you can look at every single card all together. Um, so I can go to owned or I can click on all and I can also change what clan I want to look at. We can look at forerunners, the grade ones, grade twos, grade threes, etc. You can see there that I, I never owned any of this alt mail. Um, did not pull or draw any of it. You can see other ones that I've got four ofs and such. You can see ones that, like, I've got one of this in SP and four of it in non-SP. Didn't bother to get any of the Alfreds either. And there is the, the triggers and there is the G-zones. And of course it goes through Royal Paladin first, but the further along you go you can see You've got the Shadow Paladins, you've got Oracles, Gold Paladin, and so on and so forth. So... I'll go through the G-Zone, but we're not going through every single card, because that would take far, far too long. And there we go. So that was the completion of the G-Zone, including special cards like this nonsense. Mm, my goodness, so... There's Giz himself, um, which comes in SP not automatically. But um, that's what the card crafting is. And of course, you can click on any of those and craft the cards using the gems and such that you have. Next one is to click on deck building. And this is where we'll go through everything. So you can only have 50 decks. That was something from the very start of the game. And clicking on these, you can do quite a lot. So if we go into customize, you can select whatever character you want. Uh, of course, you can only use Narakami uh, ones for Narakami. So I can't use you know, I can't use a Oracle Think Tank skin on an Arakami deck. Uh, the playmats, you can use any playmats. There is the various different playmats that I have gotten. You can see them all there. I'll just click on all of them for the sake of... of keeping them. You can see there that there's ones that I, I preferred, like, you know, my Nubatama ones, you know, my... Um, Blade Master, Alt Mile, um, Chaos Breaker, and Gear Chronicle. There's the event one. We only got one event one, which was the 
um, Nirvana deck. And so that is the sleeves, that is, that's playmats, the skins. Of course the next one is the sleeves, which you can see change these parts here. And those are the common ones that we've got that goes all the way up to grade 270. You can see that from grades, so up to grade 120 they were all different. And then on 130 and 140 it changed, then on 150 it looked like this, which was very, very cool, very nice to see. And then when we got to 200 it got to this one, and then 200 kept the same all the way up to 270. So I don't know if 300 was ever going to be different because unfortunately I don't think we'll actually get to see that part. It would be nice if we did, but I don't see it happening. These ones were from the various different characters. That you can see there. Uh, now look at the character sleeves. So these ones you can see are from various different events. This was the evil Aichi with the Psychulia. It goes through all the different versions up to 